Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Okay, for one of the day today, I'll be taking you out to coffee a butterfly slip thing that can be added to any top design. So I'll be using this chiffon fabric to cut it out. So the first folding is going to be into two, then into four. The folding is going to be a full flat. This is into two already, as you can see, then into four. So this is now into four. You can see this is going to give us a full flat. So I'm going to start the length of the butterfly top from here. So I'll be using 14 inches for my length. 14 inches. Then that is what I'm going to take one. So this is after chopping towels. The next thing is to connect them together. So after chopping it out this way, the next thing is to cut it. So you can see the length of my sleeve here. The round sleeve that I need at the at the radius here is going to be the roundness of the ammo. And the roundness of the ammo that I needed is 7.5 inches. So what I'm going to cut for my for my radius here is going to be 7.5. Let me try to determine it. How can I get my 7.5 inches here? So, when I decide to use these two inches is more than what I needed, then I decide to use 1.2 inches. So this is my 1.2 inches here. 1.2 inches here too. So when I hand round it, this give me two inches. Can you see? So the two inches in four places is going to give us eight. So, and what we needed is two, uh, seven point five inches. The half inch is going for the same allowance. So let me cut it out now. This is now what we need. You can see. This is the roundness of the hammer. By the time you cut it into two this way, so this is now the radius. You can see. So why, it, if you think that the radius is not as wide as the ammo, that is not going to serve the ammo, you can also reduce it down, maybe with one inch. Then you cut it. But mind you, it's going to reduce the length of the uh, of the flay. So when you're cutting your flay, you can try to add allowance to the length so that by the time you think this is not, this will not be enough for the hammer, then when you reduce it, it's still going to give you the exact length that you want. So the nice thing to cut out now is the band at the flay. To cut out the band, after folding your fabric into four this way, this is for a single band. If you want to cut for the two, you fold it into four like this, then into eight. That means you are cutting for the two. So since I'm cutting for a single band, that is why I'm folding it into four like this, you can see. And the length, the wideness I'm using is seven inches. This is my seven inches. Then the length of my band is five inches. So by the time we tape it in, it's going to be four inches. So I'm using one inch for the same allowance. So the next thing now is to cut it out. You can see so this now you're going to if you want it to be to stand if you want it to stand to come out nicely you have to uh, put a gum stay here then you fold it back so this is now the band and this is the flay This is the flay here. Yeah. So the next thing is to take the edge here yeah, and um, put it there. So I'm going to show you how to attach this now.
welcome back this is after stitching it together you can see the upper part you can see how the slip is you can see it this is the band this is where we're going to make our button oh so i just decided to place it like this right i want to put my button holes i'll open it then add my button holes to it then i'm going to add my buttons you can see this is the shape of the sleeve you can see how it is you can see the way i added the band to the sleeve you can see the the area at which we're going to attach to the ammo so this is how to attach it to the ammo of any top or any dress of your child. so if you didn't want your body to be showing this way you can set to cut out a straight sleeve to be two step sleeves so the first step i took when i wanted to sew this particular sleeve is the the cutting at the back here that is where we divide the flay into two you know then i join it back to the hammer at this particular area where i'm going to add to the band then i make it straight i didn't make it curve the way i did it when i was sewing it i didn't make, i make it straight to the wideness of the band then i attach it at that area to the band then i hand it here and so then i stitch the the sleeve you can start to with it if you like but yeah i did the stitching so by the time i iron it out it's going to stand properly so if you're watching for the first time in the right place to be thank you for stopping by again i appreciate you guys for watching my video always make sure you subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial you'll be notified see my next class assalamu alaikum